Ah, I'm loving this. You know it's gonna be a great day when you basically wake up to the sound of your alarm informing you that tea has been spilled. That was always a great feeling dude. I'd go downstairs to the kitchen to make myself a good delicious meal since I live like I'm a fucking neighbor paying rent in the house. Then come up to basically try my luck with LT Cobra so he can shout my channel out. Because who am I if he doesn't? Am I right? We're both gamers dude so uh, if you give me a little shout out I'll talk with G Fuel so that it can sponsor your channel in no time. It's a great price. Consider yourself lucky. I brought his name, guys, so uh, uh, now I can put him in the tags of this video. See, I'm a genius. Shut fuck up. Enough of Shkin Paris and Nico now. We have other terrible thoughts to talk about. Wall Street Journal. Please don't take my comments seriously. I'm only joking. Go watch some Minecraft videos where PewDiePie hits the bridge and says the word bruh and get the hell off. Today's topic revolves around some epic gamers, pun intended, of course, who did some bruh moments in recent and past history. Uh, history channel vibes now, guys. This world we live in is basically filled with me, an alpha male with 3 billion IQ plus a channel with almost 10 children wearing Fortnite's default skins and you at home watching this video you know being absolute intellectuals and then the dumb ones ruining our climate with their toxicity at this point. I'm pretty sure those are uh, what earth is trying to get rid of right now and leave us chads out here swimming in the blessing of God himself which is quite epic not gonna lie. Uh, I love me some of that bless God. Uh, <laughs> and me. We're basically conspiring, I mean about to discuss the dumb ones and their actions. If I say the word conspire, YouTube will think I'm making a conspiracy theory video and then ban me off the site. Shh. Twitch is a great platform to stream. Uh, I'd want to stream there myself and basically reach out to every staff and tell them to take me in forced marriage, but I don't need that. Like what my mom says to me always before I go take a dump, there are always chads on the loose. One becomes a soy boy and the other becomes a legend. No, no she does not say that she doesn't i made it up calm down d live and twitch i'll let you choose who is who there are ranks for streamers on twitch from good down to obnoxious we're taking the toxic ones out of the selection and basically making them a part of today's late night show with your favorite boy serpentize jimmy fallon and all the other hosts i'm coming for you and i'll riot till i can't no more N no no those are not the lyrics serp those are not the lyrics Twitch's first toxic e-girl who's going to honor the channel today is your favorite vodka girl, Miss Elinity of Animal Abuser. That was uh, terrible, sorry about that. She's a small Canadian immigrant from Cali, Colombia. She's a proud divorced woman who plays video games for a living, I mean, until she wanted to copyright Strike PewDiePie for some reason, I don't know, being gay or something. Can we copy Strike PewDiePie's latest video? Like right now? The internet radar has picked up her signals again when she bullied her cat by tossing it behind her back. which sparked massive outrage from fans and outsiders alike. Even the director of creative development at Twitch jumped to basically give his valid take on this, who has no power to ban, etc. Even B approved of the comments towards her. You know, that organization that tells you big lies about animals for sweet ad revenue? She definitely doesn't even hit the average IQ of any intellectual I know, which makes her unwanted in this channel and probably should be put to sleep. Just by looking at her bird feeding her cat vodka, something which contains ethanol, a huge toxics for animals and might go as far as to gay men them have started losing brain cells by how moronic her actions were. But it's all good guys, she's really good with them because she has so many and could potentially ruin them behind the scenes. Also she's not Shane Dawson so uh, ha, she, she's not gonna do uh <sighs> <clears throat> All this led Skatoon's Society of Magic to launch an investigation and she's willing to comply with everything they're ordering. You might be asking, uh, what happened? Um, n nothing. Uh, they basically said she's good to go, like nothing happened. There was a stalker who went to her home for some reason following this, which is uh, really a complete invasion of privacy. As much as I want her banned off the site, believe it or not, for doing something she thought was a funny haha, -ha, I don't want some idiot following her and I wouldn't want 
haven't heard experiencing something like it anyway. Also, I've went and digged for a bit and found out that she has a dog to which she kicked as well when it was following one of her cats. Two things to say, first of all, she's a dumb prick for doing that. At least a gentle tap on the head would be better than kicking it or even teaching it to know the word stop since you haven't done so already based on how your pets are acting. Second of all, I feel for the safety of those pets, like seriously, they really look cute and shouldn't be put in such places with her. Twitch is mostly known for being into female streamers and especially those in the just chatting section. I don't know why since most of the girls there are dumb, not generalizing of course, but they have some weird logic I've never heard of. All Star even existed. I don't understand depression, so I think it's the stupidest thing in the world. I don't know, like... It's like they're speaking the language of gods or something. Maybe Twitch's staff are dumb too. Wouldn't surprise me knowing they're uh, driven by a lot of factors and those female streamers because they're females. She'll probably send the staff some pictures of her bottom just to cool them down. I just wish she'd be partnering on Twitch and then uh, they can promote me to CEO so I can basically announce it bankrupt. Also, can Twitch stop ads please? Uh, no one wanted them dude. Panther, also known as Pink Sparkles, on Twitch is a lovely individual that I really adore and I want to marry someday and basically buy her everything she wants until the day she passes away. No, she's not a healthy person to be around. I feel bad for her boyfriend knowing he's not an alpha male. I'm not gonna talk about the relationship, I don't really care. The talk of today surrounding her is really epic though. This is Area 51 being did what no streamer should do, yelling loudly in the middle of the night because her friends, streaming friends, were yelling upstairs. Hey, would you have sex with me for 100k? Are we splitting it? I will. Are we splitting it 60-40? Wait, 60, for 100k, 40? let's do it right now. I'm sorry. Told you. Yeah, I should probably be quiet. I apologize. It's like adding sugar into a salty dish. So brain dead. It, it does not work that way, man. A bunch of streamers entered the house very late at night and were talking loudly while she was having her uh, epic sleep. It woke her up and she started yelling downstairs at them, to which Mitch, the guy streaming, then apologized in the stream for being loud. But can we just appreciate how dumb she is? They were loud, yeah, but she was louder. You know that there's a distance between both parties? In order for them to hear you downstairs, you're gonna shout, but the logic's flawed here because you'll be angry at something you're doing as well. <laughs> My brain hurts, man. Fuck. She apologized for it later and said that she should have handled the situation better. Better by not yelling loudly next time you'd like a big headed monstrosity. Apparently, they had a code in the house. They shouldn't be late and all loud at a certain point of day, but I guess you broke it as well. I mean, you're a dumbass, which I'll prove in one more point, but you've made at least a good keynote there in the tweet longer about the agreement with curfew uh, from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m., and Mitch and the others should have made sure they're a bit quiet around the house. Good on you, brainless. Here's a clap for you. Speaking of clapping, how about we talk about the next idiotic incident involving none other than her boyfriend himself, Asmon Gold. See, I, I segued so fast you didn't feel it. Shut up, you didn't. This one is a quickie, same as Alinity but with a human instead. She basically was playing Apex Legends with him, they were killed by two teammates, he explains all what happened to her calmly, and what do you think she basically did? Standing there looking at the window, you could have dropped ammo. Uh, I wasn't looking at the window, I was aiming at them. I wasn't looking at the window at all. She rage quits on him. It's, it's quite ironic at this point, not gonna lie. I just feel so sad for him because he did quit streaming altogether after they both started dating. But imagine if she just tells him, Alright hun, we're done here. That's it for him. He'll fade into the abyss and never come back from it. At least she won't be dancing on streams or flash people anytime soon. Am I right guys? <laughs> oh, kill me.
last but not least, we'll be speaking, uh, well, I'll be speaking, and you beautiful bastards will be listening, about Legendary Leia, the cursed woman who basically goes up the stairs with a mobility aid flashing 9 year olds on stream. She's under the radar again for actually getting banned off of Twitch for 30 days and then being salty about it by using a competitor to Twitch called Periscope and then tweeting about it. I mean, she did it multiple times and we're talking about one of those times. She's the same as a cam girl at this point. She showed her private part, Twitch banned her, she complained about it on Twitter. People memed her to hell and she kept lying about it. It's, it's the same lies these girls use. Uh, are you even surprised? <laughs> Dude, we, we, we live in a society, dude. I can't wait until Twitch turns into a cam site. Huh, that's how they'll gain money with this kind of streamers. In conclusion, Twitch's staff aren't doing their best to handle the situation they've been exposed to. Uh, I do blame them for a lot of mistakes they did in the past and for their oppressive system. They keep preaching about equality, but they're moving towards the feminine side every day. There's gonna be a problem in the future, I can guarantee that. It won't be their end, but they're going to receive backlash from every area in the world every time they ban some guy who basically talks about another streamer and left a semi-nude girl flash two months old fetuses. Personally, I won't have a problem as long as I get a partnership that could lead me to be a part of the staff so I can ban all the sinners and preach about equality every five seconds. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, follow me on Twitter because I post a lot of memes. Uh, you, you have a fun time there. Uh, I can guarantee that. Uh, follow all the social media down in in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one have a wonderful day you beautiful bastards Ah, I said beautiful bastards multiple times now. My channel is turned into a Philip DeFranco show.